Well, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist, and I'm considered one of the co-inventors of the internet. I was uh, invited by the NMC to participate and to receive uh, your fellowship award. Uh, I gather that you have a mission to remind people about the rapid evolution of media, now, of course, in digital form, and to help them understand its utility. So that's a, an area of some interest to me, too. We do have a team that is uh, particularly interested in, uh, in education. We have a whole program called Google Apps for Education. So there's a whole program built around that. I think there is an increasing uh, interest at Google in trying to understand the dynamics of education and what happens when it goes online. Because traditionally, education has tended to be two-year or four-year programs, residential programs, and you, you, know, you go through this and then you get your degree and that's it. But we all recognize in this, uh, especially in the high-tech world, that the moment you graduate, uh, the half-life of the value of your education you know, begins to diminish. And the only way to remedy that is to have a continuing exposure to content and to keep learning. And in fact, I, uh, I want to suggest to you that we should expunge from our vocabulary the word teach and replace it with learn because the whole point about education is to learn something. And so we should be measuring ourselves not on how well we teach, but on how well students learn. And here, I think we've discovered that students learn best by actually doing things. So instead of telling them about something, we should be setting a framework up where they actually try things out. If they make mistakes, they get to learn because, hey, why did you make that mistake? It's not because you were stupid, it's because you had a bad model in your head that led you to this conclusion when that's the correct one. Let's fix the model. So next time you have that problem, you get the right answer. So this idea of creating environments where people can try things out and learn by doing is very important. And I think online environments, especially computer-based environments, offer a very, very rich platform for helping people try things out. And I think that's going to improve the quality of education pretty dramatically. With regard to uh, use of the internet in classrooms and things like that, I occasionally will hear, uh, especially in the college level, uh, complaints that the students come in, they bring their laptops, and they're you know, using the laptops while well, these uh, professors are lecturing, and the professors were complaining about it. And I said, well, you know, why are you complaining? He said, well, uh, I thought maybe they said that, well, they were you know, doing Facebook or they were doing some other tweeting through their friends and not paying attention to the lecture. Actually. The complaint was that they were going out on the net, finding information out that was relevant to the lecture, and then challenging the professor, and the professor didn't like that. And I said, look, take advantage of this. Um, let's pick 10 pages on the internet. I don't care which ones. You pick which 10 web pages you want. The assignment is go to that web page and now analyze and tell me how much of that information we should believe is credible, how much is not credible, on what basis do you come to that conclusion, and oh, by the way, you're not done if all you've done is use resources on the internet. There's this other place, it's called the library. It has things in it called books, and not all books are online. We're trying hard to make, fix that at Google, but the fact is that there's other information that should be applied to that homework assignment. So you're not done unless you come back with some references to these things called books in addition. So the idea here is to get people to start thinking critically about what they see and hear that practice is very important, not just for the internet, where it just happens to be so blatantly, you know, the, the information is so blatantly varied, but books, magazines, newspapers, television, your friends and your parents are all sources of potential misinformation. And if you're sensible, you will learn to critically think about all those things. And if we have to start the training ground on the internet, that's fine, but you can apply that skill to every source of information, and you should.